Hello Year 2. In Spellings this week we are focusing on words that end in I-L. Have a go at practising the ones in your list and then see if you can come up with some of your own. And as always, have a go at practising your words in sentences with beautiful cursive or joined up handwriting. In English we've started thinking about how to use commas in our writing. A comma looks like this. It's a type of punctuation mark that tells us to take a short breath uh, when we are reading. But the pause, the breath that we're taking is not as long as the one we would take if we were reading something that had a full stop at the end. There's lots of different reasons why you might use a comma in your writing, but we are learning at the moment uh, just to use commas to separate items in a list. So the sentence that I've got here says the fruit bowl has oranges and bananas and pears and kiwis and apples in it. Now we've used the word and too many times there, so to make this sentence better, we can get rid of the ands. And the sentence reads like this. The fruit bowl has oranges, bananas, pears, kiwis, apples in it. Now you might notice that the sentence still doesn't quite sound right, and that's because it's important we still put one and um, in the sentence. We need to make sure we put an and before the last item in our list. So I'm going to put and here and I'm going to read it to you again and hopefully it sounds a little bit better. The fruit bowl has oranges, bananas, pears, kiwis and apples in it. Now what we need to do next is we need to add commas into our sentence so that it separates all of the items that we're listing. OK, so I've added commas into my sentence and it reads like this. The fruit bowl has oranges, bananas, pears, kiwis and apples in it. As you can see, I've put a comma after each item in my list, except for after kiwis, because I don't need to put a comma if I've got the word and. The comma is put between each item in the list, but the last two items always have and between them and no comma. Here's another example of a sentence that's got com that has got commas in it. It says the cockerel's feathers were brown, green, orange and blue. You could probably hear that I took a really short breath when there was a comma and the sentence still has got and to join the last two items in the list. Here's another example. The road was busy, noisy and full of activity. Some of the things that we do need to remember when using commas is that we need to remember not to put a comma before the first item in your list. For example, the party was fun, loud and exciting. We don't need to take a breath after the word was, so we need to make sure that we don't put a comma there. We just put it after the items that we are listing. We also need to make sure that we don't use a comma if we're just listing two items. For dinner, we are having fish and chips. The and separates those two items, so we don't need the comma.